mes amis, hi guys, uh, quick Rolex video, but no big revelation here. A uh, viewer of the channel, Michael, shared with me uh, an article from a Watch Pro site uh, where they were uh, sh showing uh, a press release from a Rolex which has finally addressed uh, the difficulty of uh, buying their products at the moment. And basically, they just say that it's not a strategy on their part. Scarcity is not a strategy on their part at all. Uh, it's just that their current production cannot meet the high demand. Uh, they explained that uh, there is no waiting list at uh, their authorized dealers. Uh, basically, they favor people who have spent a lot of money uh, buying uh, ladies' watches and, and stuff. So you're out of, luck, out of luck if you just want to buy yourself one nice Rolex, one nice Mariner to celebrate your 40th birthday. That's just not going to happen. And uh, yeah, they emphasize that uh, they can increase uh, production because they want to keep on producing uh, quality products, which is, uh, which is fair enough. What they fail to really uh, address is uh, the system in place now at authorized dealers who are selling directly either to VVVIPs at the market price that means you want your pepsi sure you're gonna have to pay twice the retail price for it that's what they do here in hong kong but they don't do it for everybody it's uh their favorite way of uh selling their stocks is to uh sell to a dealer abroad at a high price and the dealer will take a small margin and so wherever you go here in hong kong for example you find all the brand new watches and usually they come through a middle middleman uh, straight from authorized dealers in uh, from Germany, like uh, Bukower, uh, from um, Holland, from Belgium. But the dealers have to pay a very high price for them, so they take a small margin. And I see a lot of dealers, uh, new dealers opening, I see some of them shutting their doors, but those dealers are taking a small margin, so they have zero interest in reducing uh, the, the the prices and there's a there's a glut of uh, offering. I think there's enough product on demand for for everybody. I mean, not everybody can buy every model from uh, from Rolex. Uh, people want to buy one, two, maybe three or four. You know, have a bit of everything. But uh, uh, but we're right now we're pretty much at a, at a standstill uh, because by default everything that comes to a authorized dealer seem to go to a reseller straight away so it's going to be a uh, offer and demand thing you know once the offer is just way too big uh, and dealers can't buy any more of the stuff that authorized dealers that ad's uh, have well ad's are going to have to to sell to their um, more to their vips the preferred customers and when those vips uh, realize that uh, they can't flip the, the the watches or that they they've been buying too much uh, that they can't buy any anymore. Well, little by little, authorized dealers will have again to sell watches the normal way to normal customers. All that plays in the hand of uh, Rolex, who takes such a bigger margin on precious metal watches. And three years ago, two years ago, you'd have never thought not to be able to find uh, a full gold sports model or even a day date with an interesting dial. But even that now has become impossible to to get so i'm sure they've been making uh, great profits otherwise dealers you know 10 years ago you not many pe people wouldn't rush uh, to their doors now everybody goes try to get the the, the hot watch they have such a, a big demand uh, who do you allocate the, the watches to and then they were getting uh, they could not choose what they were getting from uh, from rolex so they would get a lot of ladies watches uh, difficult to, to, to sell stuff uh, and at the same time everybody wanted to get the, the submariners so that's it uh, authorized dealers uh, make the best of a situation including uh, everything that happened with uh, with covid and uh, the less less tourism uh, and all that and we're gonna just gonna have to wait for the offer on the market to be so so big that uh, prices will have to to come off that uh, Watches will have to be sold at retail in a in a shop. It's going to take a while. Uh, there's a big demand. There's a huge demand uh, in China. But 
remember Lehman, before Lehman, we saw premiums as well. And from one day to the next, uh, they were gone. So there's a lot of money going around at the moment. A lot of uh, people have uh, discretionary spending, uh, especially uh, b because of COVID. Uh, they're not spending on uh, on holidays and, and, and so on. And when the situation changes, hopefully that money will be reallocated to uh, other forms of, uh, of luxuries and uh, the watch market will, uh, will will come off again because um, Rolex has pulled everything along. You know, Patek has gone crazy, the sports models, uh, AP, AP as well. But even uh, Zenit is benefiting for, from this. Uh, a lot of watches just come out and are just uh, super hot. And the demand is big because, um, you know, the watch community is growing. Now people don't just want to have one quartz watch. They want an automatic and then they want to uh, go up the ladder of quality and then they want to have 10 watches. We we'll see where, where this goes. Uh, I, I'm lucky I got to buy a few Rolex before everything went completely uh, crazy. Uh, so I can, I, can, I can wait it out, but I sure would like to, to get me a, a Pepsi someday. So let me know, guys, what you think in, uh, in, in the comments. And uh, I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye-bye.